You may have heard at the end of the summer some good news coming from Chicago police. Crime on the CTA dropped 43 percent. Well, we started investigating that claim, and while part of it is true, violent crime against riders is up, way up. CBS 2 Sharday Gray has the numbers you'll see only on two. You know, as soon as I heard the shots, I'm, oh man, no, no, nah, nah, this can't be real. There was like a lot of screaming for like 20 minutes. Kina Moon had to bury her son, Deontay Moon. Moon's daughter had to say her last goodbye to her father just days before his eight year old daughter's birthday. Moon was simply riding a CTA train home from work August 6th when targeted, robbed, murdered. I want something to be done. The killing happened at the 79th Street Red Line stop. Then, just two days later, on August 8th, Another shooting at the same stop just outside the station. More security guards, more undercover officer protection. I don't see anything now. She wants more police on CTA trains, hoping to stop criminals in their tracks. We're nearing a record breaking year with all of the violent train related crimes. Digging through crime data, we found year to date the most robberies, batteries, assaults, sexual assaults and homicides combined in 21 years, 461 attacks, 276 happening inside trains. We got a lot more work to do. I, I would just tell you this is uh, not going to be an easy task. In August, Superintendent Brown acknowledged crime problems along the system and offered us a ride along. To show us officers from the public transportation unit of CPD working to protect riders, including Sergeant Nicholas Orlando. Visibility has always been a big thing with the Chicago Police Department. A challenge too, given the massive size of the train system operating 24-7 with violence breaking out anywhere, anytime. Like in June on the red line near 47th Street where Kiwan George witnessed a shooting. Do you feel comfortable riding the red line? Uh, yes and no. You know, uh, you know, since since that incident, you know, you know, you still got to remember that it's still Chicago and it's still people out there. The red line specifically has been targeted by violent criminals. Take a look at this map we've created using police data. You can see this year, 36 percent of violent crimes happened on Red Line South Branch crime impacting riders sense of security and all of a sudden he comes from the side pulls me um, and immediately I'm down and then just drags me down the two flights of stairs to the blue line Doors closing. following our ride along we sat down with Ernest Cato the Chicago Police Department's chief of counterterrorism we have seen an increase in crime under trains hence that's where we redirecting our resources to address those issues. And we sent some very aggressive officers, officers who are focusing on, on the crime, the crime in those specific areas, uh, 95th, 69th Street, 79th Street. Though you likely won't see this most days, so many officers at once. We wanted to know how many officers patrol the train lines every day. Police won't say. So we dug into another set of their records called police check-ins. And what we found raises questions about the department's overall strategy. CPD operates on three watches. We found 45% of violent crimes on trains take place during the first watch, which starts at 11 p.m. But just 18% of officer check-ins or patrols are done during that high crime time. We are adding more and more resources, but not on every train. It's, it's, that wouldn't be practical. As crimes continued this year with the wave of robberies and stabbings in April, we found police ramped up their check-ins from 8,149 in April to 15,237 in May. We checked in too, traveling the line to different stations at different times, high crime areas, but we didn't see any officers. A source tells us a problem with check-ins, they don't last long. 
The data shows the same. Most officers check in last just 11 minutes. On this day, as we rode the rails with numerous officers, we heard from riders what this means to them. And what were you just telling me? You said you were just so excited. To see the Chicago police on the platform because I'd be so afraid to get on here because of all the crime. Sade Gray, CBS 2 News. We put a searchable map on our website, cbschicago.com. You'll find more details about violent crimes happening along the train lines you use.